Good morning guys. It is Tuesday and this is the hair. So I did decide to cut my own bangs. Turned out alright. Um, the only thing I messed up I think are my sideburns. I took too much hair off for here so I kind of messed that up. But it's okay. It'll grow out. So I just messed up my sideburns a bit. So then I put my hair like this behind my ears so the sideburns sometimes will do that. But it's all good, turned out alright. I'm very happy I didn't need to go to the salon. I mean, it looks alright. So, there. I have a full, heavier fringe, and it's great. So, I'm starting off my day with making some breakfast. It's 9.14 right now, and I think I'm just gonna make some eggs. We don't really have much in the fridge. We have to do a bunch of groceries because uh, when my boyfriend came back from his trip, like, Last Friday, we didn't really... Was it Friday? Yeah, on, fr on Friday, we didn't really do much groceries. He was just resting up, and it's all good. Um, we kind of are emptying out the fridge, so it's fine. And I'm heating up some water right now in my kettle. That's why it's loud. So, yeah. My Venus flytrap is officially dead. I got your tips, which was really helpful, but it came a little too late. I know I could have researched it, but um, with plants, I've just been kind of eyeballing everything, which is really bad. <laughs> but I don't want to stress about plants too much and be obsessed with them. That's why I'm kind of keeping my pace with them. Uh, the rest of the plants are doing well. This guy has a little bit of browning leaves, which I think hopefully is normal. Uh, this guy as well, I think because this he's getting really lush. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of fix in and then I grew some more red onions I mean green onions look how big they got it's only been a couple of days this was like Thursday or something so wow those are big and yeah I have to clean this guy out so the next time I get a Venus flytrap I know what to do apparently they probably want less tap water more rainwater uh, which will be difficult during the winter so maybe if it didn't happen now it's gonna happen later so yeah and then I uh, just need to clean this guy up. He's getting big. He's actually reaching all the way down there, so I'm gonna have to move him. You see this? Yeah, that's him. So, I don't know. I don't know what to do with leaves that have turned yellow. I really just gotta clean it out. Last night, I was trying to see if I can do a Garden Views cover in uh, traditionally. So I did it, and I like how it turned out, but I think I need to kind of switch my idea. So I'm still going to try and do a better cover. Uh, I haven't shown you guys the cover for it yet that I did because it's still on the computer. I haven't really printed it out yet. I do. I still need to do a couple of edits in the pages. Uh, somebody pointed out that I drew something uh, incorrectly, so I have to fix that. It's just an, an anatomy thing that I have to fix. And then I have to figure out uh, a different cover because I like it, but it needs to be a, a little stronger, I think. And then. Yeah, so I did this last night. I also painted this a couple of days ago, which I really like. And I think this is going to be the Patreon print for the packages I'm making because it's really cute. So I'm going to have to um, print those out. And then I drew that as well last night, which I'm going to scan and see how it turned out. I did some quick cleaning here. It's still really quite a mess. And um, I need to print out more stickers as well. If you, what we're we gonna do? Oh yeah, there was one page where I had to fix a foot because the foot was not angled correctly. Thank you, Mod, for pointing that out. <laughs> I totally missed it. Where'd it go? I'm so happy that this comic is done. I just can't wait to share it with you guys for free. I've already shared it on Patreon, um, so if you would like to read it ahead of every ahead of time. Uh, you can pledge a dollar and you can read all the comics that I've posted. Um, all the pages, I mean. Where's my pen? So, yeah. I'm just, just gonna clean this up. Um, 
And lately I've been thinking about the glass unicorn. I'm thinking about <laughs> shifting my focus on the glass unicorn and condensing it into like a shorter story to put into an anthology. So sort of like a Junji Ito book, you know how Junji Ito does, usually he just does like short stories, even like Uzumaki. Uzumaki is a bunch of short stories about spirals. It's not like a continuous story, there are continuous characters in it, but it's a set of like, most of his books that I have are short anthologies of horror. So I was like, maybe I should just do that because because I found that working on a glass unicorn and making a long and making it a long form form thing is really difficult for me. I haven't worked on it for like a couple months, maybe a month or two now, and I'm thinking of doing that, condensing it into something shorter. I set up like a website for it and everything. My patrons would know. I set a website. I, I made a, a quick website where I laid out all the pages, so I might have to take that down if I am going this route, and. Usually when I think about these things, I will do it, so I still, I'm still not getting rid of the idea of a glass unicorn, I still quite like it, but I'm going to do what I did with a garden view and kind of condense it into a shorter story, and then the graphic novel that I'm going to have is just a set of anthologies, like a, a, an anthology of short stories that I kind of wrote, and then maybe they will all be a similar style, so I won't have a dental plan on there because I've already printed that out. You know, so it's that's what I'm thinking. I mean, a lot of other people have done this already. There's been a lot of short horror comic anthologies out there already, but um, that's what I've been. That's what I was thinking. So, what do you guys think about that? I mean, like I said, I've already thought about it, and it's already something that I might do. Yeah, those are just my my thoughts about that. Let's fix what here.
I decided to grab my pothos from downstairs and use it as a prop for the comic which is this is the way the cover turned out the new cover anyway so this is the front you saw me do a speed paint on this and the back pretty simple so simple but a bit more than more than the last one I think just with colors and everything so yeah It's me, Jesse and Ari. If we, if they test me, they're sorry. Ride us up like a Harry and pull up in this Ferrari. Mike and Danny. We would always hang out together at these block parties. My neighbors would go all night. There would be tables of baked goods, catered food. Some neighbors even had tables of alcohol. Of course, we were like 13. No one was going to let us drink in that age. It was a Saturday. People were setting up for the block party to play each other in an MLB. About an hour later, he went back out and saw his parents, who told us he went inside, looking at his window. We started waving at him to come down. The sun is slowly creeping towards me. So I am working on uh, Ultimate Parcel sticker sheets. So let me show you the one for I did for Melissa. So Melissa asked for school slash university themed stickers uh, for her parcel. So I started off with just like drawing rulers and pencils and erasers. And then I thought I'd do some like um, some text that I'm going to stylize when I put it on Photoshop. Uh, so I have like exam week, midterm month, study week, coffee time, coffee, dri coffee break, assignment due, stuff like that study week I don't know if it's something in the States study week we had it we had a week of like no classes we still had assignments to do but we had no classes and basically just a week-long break and then I obviously did a bunch of like coffee things because that's important could be tea too and then I did like little figures someone sleeping this one working on the computer I did like a, a school card and I'll look at, and I'll see how it turns out as a sticker and then ramen of course uh, showering an all-nighter eating with a ramen not being ready to check the grades that was me all the time when I was in uni I was always afraid to check my grades because they posted it online I don't know how it's like nowadays but yeah so I should I should do one of somebody writing notes or something but this one's like cute yeah, so that's it so far. I'm gonna transfer these and see how much I have and then I have another sticker sheet to work on and I have to check with another patron what sticker theme they want because I haven't heard back. working on the next sticker set for the another ultimate parcel tier individual so I don't know why I'm talking like that <laughs> um, so this one is a Las Vegas themed sticker set um, particularly like the gay club scene and I'm not very good at that because I don't really do clubbing but I looked up a bunch of photos on Google um, Las Vegas gay clubs and then I just put together some stuff so like palm trees a disco ball a cowboy hat and people had just pretty much people having fun and then the this is gonna be a pride flag that I'm gonna color in on Photoshop so but I'm gonna take a break oh yeah wait let me show you the final turned out for the university school stickers and here it is looks pretty cute so this is going to Melissa my Amazon package came in and yes I just brought some blue cardstock the closest I can get that is Kind of like Ikea colors to package these guys. My boyfriend just came home and he's having a shower. I don't know if you can hear that. It's the shower going. But, I mean, that's okay color. But that's the best color in the back here. So, yeah. I thought it would be perfect for the Ikea stuff. It's just like a match for a back. Like a, for a, the, the, the backing. That's it. That's, that's, that's what I got. Here you go. I cut up some nice sort of Ikea blue backing card thing for the stickers and they are just as I imagined but I feel like it's missing yellow 
I could do yellow backgrounds too because there are blue in the stickers, but blue is the first color that came to mind that would be perfect. Very happy with this decision. I mean, maybe no one will notice, but you guys in the vlog, if you are $5 sticker patrons, you'll know why it's blue. So, there you go. I was also kind of limited in the paper I could get because I had to get the one that's a uh, one day delivery so but it, I think it might work out and I might have enough okay so it's now the next day and I'm working on some doodles for the $25 patrons because I wanted to give them some doodles so I'm just making some doodles so I have a bunch of eels at the top here and then at the bottom are some weird caterpillars so yeah and these are going to the $25 patrons I already have some doodles available done for the ultimate parcel tiers I only had to do um, three so it was all good and now I'm just finishing these up I have these three left and then I did I did uh, these guys as well so the a crab a weird snail and a duck and then i also did these last night which are just three different snakes <laughs> so um these are all going to go to them after i cut it up the eels turned out really well i really like how they turned out and um these caterpillars i still don't know i don't know how they're gonna turn out but so far so good i am you actually using if you notice, they're really bright, right? I am using my inks. Some watercolors here and there for certain parts, but most of the big pieces of space, if, I don't know how, why I'm talking that way. Again, I'm just talking weird. Um, they're all ink. So the pink, the brown, all ink. Not a lot of mixing. I've been kind of sticking to the colors as they are, so. Yeah, it just makes my life easier. I do some mixing sometimes. What I do mostly is water down the inks, but for the most part, I keep them true to their color, and that's how vibrant they are. I'm sure if I mix them properly, they'll be vibrant, but most of the time when I tried mixing the inks, they just become really just dull and dark. So I'm just keeping their original kind of colors, and it's working out pretty well. So I need to put eyeballs on this guy. And yeah, I also did a quick post this morning on Patreon telling everybody my intentions of switching from a long form graphic novel to like an anthology like I spoke about, talked about yesterday. So yeah, it's just, just a quick post. It's a public post. So if you are interested in reading that, that's there. But I already told you what it was. Nothing special. And so I am going to act on that soon. I already have a story that I want to do, so I just have to do it. And I would like to edit the vlog tonight. I don't know how much footage I've taken. I only have footage from the last day and today so far. And just a f some footage of me cutting my bangs during the over the weekend. This weekend, I won't be able to stream because I'm actually going to a murder mystery party with the friends that I always hang out with. And yeah, so I'm doing that on the Saturday. The Sunday, I'll probably not do much because I'll be back from that and I'd, I'd want to have a weekend. So yeah, that's what's coming up. So I do want to get the vlog out. But I need to vlog stuff. Oh yeah, and today after I do these doodles, which I, I'm almost done, I'm going to package all the Patreon orders, all the Patreon stuff and send them off by tomorrow. So um, it'll take me mostly the whole day to package everything up and make sure everything is right like I have to doodle on the envelopes as well write some remaining notes that I need to do and it should be all set and good to go and yeah looking forward to the next iteration of Patreon stuff but that's mostly what we're working on on the vlog today that's orange I need orange 
for his weird tail thing. All right, all done. I'm gonna cut these up. Uh, these turned out really well. My favorites in here would be the blue eel and this caterpillar. Caterpillar, yeah. So I'm gonna cut these up and scan them. Well, I can scan these first and then cut them up. That'd be a good idea. All scanned. Now I'm just giving them a quick signature. Oh yeah, that's the other thing I need to do. I need to finish up the sticker set for Mariah. The one I was working on yesterday that I stopped at the uh, uh, sketchbook face. I need to scan those and color them in and then give them a cut. And then, yeah. And if I haven't heard back from a patron who I'm asking for like a sticker theme, I just send them a random one that I know they haven't received before. So it all works out. And then we're all done. Okay, um, oh, you know what? I, I forgot to buy more ribbon from the dollar store. I went to the dollar store yesterday but I to get more stuff, but I forgot ribbon. Darn it. All right, so uh, I'm packing these up. Where's my print? I'm gonna print here. So I can say, where did I get the stuff? Oh, oh yeah. So I wanted to mention to you guys. I know it doesn't even involve any art stuff or anything, but I was thinking about getting a Shutter subscription. So you know how Netflix is a subscription service for movies. Well, Shutter is one, but it's for horror movies. Um, I have Amazon Prime, and I did have Netflix, but. Shudder would have all the movies that I would want to watch. Um, they will all be horror. <laughs> when I was thinking of that, I'm still thinking about it because like, it's either that or I upgrade my website so I can add more stuff to it because right now I'm using a free template. Uh, I, know, I thought I would mention it because it's a stupid thing. Does anybody have Shudder? Is Shudder a good service? I looked up reviews on it and they said it was pretty good. I might end up doing it, but I'm still kind of stalling. Seal, it. Seal the newsletter. The star. Alright, so I got... So, there's a print. There is stickers. There is a doodle. There is the receipt. Which I've got on top. And then the newsletter at the bottom. There you go. I'm going to put it in a plastic. Glitter too. I only have a few. Oh no, I do have some more. Some glitter. I've officially ran out of ribbons, so this is what they look like. They just have a cute little sticker at the top. And the ones with the ribbons look like this. Yeah, I need to buy a ribbon.
thinking. It came out of the box, but I got a the vermilion ink from Windsor & Newton. Here is my ink collection so far. I have to find a way to store it properly because I feel like it'll fall every time. So I got vermilion. It didn't. It didn't came. It didn't come with the set that I bought. Uh, oh, I also got green apple or apple green recently. It also didn't come with the set. So those are two outsiders. It is now 6 p.m. and I finished packaging everything up. So this is how it looks like. Yeah. I just need to doodle on all the envelopes, which will take me maybe about an hour or two. And I'm going to do that tonight while I just watch some movies or YouTube videos or something like that. Thank you guys so much for all your support. It really, really means a lot to me. So the last few things I need to do for Patreon is I have to update my log sheet on Excel about what everybody got, just so I know for next month, just so people don't get repeats of certain things, especially the upper tiers. Uh, so that's what I gotta do and, um, and then I have to edit the vlog so yeah oh oh I didn't show you how the Vegas um, stickers turned out I did package them away but I always print out two whenever I run it through the Cricut because that's how many fit in on a sticker sheet so this is how they turned out very cute the stars are stickers unfortunately but there's a bunch of stickers there this one is for Maria thank you so much Maria for uh, being a big support so that's coming to you and I, I thought I'd show you all the miscut stickers because there's a lot yeah I'm just doing a little bit of cleanup and then I'm kind of cutting out these are all misprints Oop. yeah all of these are misprints they're miscut uh, they're not misprints they're mostly miscut they're not like perfect so I set them aside and then I do put them in packages for orders if they don't look too bad as little extras sometimes people don't really mind especially when I was tabling and I had like misprints people don't mind getting misprints because sometimes they're not that noticeable it's just me I just don't want to give people things that are misaligned but I do keep them for extras in orders and stuff like that and I keep dropping them yeah so I'm gonna cut up these so they can put them in one spot so they're not littering the whole thing the whole place I have some uh, receipts that I want to clear off of this printer these books I have been trying to donate for quite a while but I keep forgetting to put them in my bag so I'm gonna shove them in my bag when I go to work tomorrow I can donate them these have to cut up so I can stick them in there and then this I got when my brother and I watched Midsommar it's Jake Gyllenhaal so I had to get a copy of it because it's because I like him he's cute so yeah, my hair is puffy because I took a shower this morning, so it'll take a couple hours, maybe o overnight it's going to settle down and become a little bit less frizzy. That's how you, that's how my hair usually is. And yeah, I'm kind of just stalling this. I'm taking a little bit of a break before I move on to editing the vlog after updating that Excel sheet. Oh, I did also just quickly apply for TCAF again 2020. I always apply, even though I've tabled this year they usually don't they have a rule where they don't accept people twice in a row or like one after the other if they if you exhibited in 2019 they probably won't accept you in 2020 unless you have been published by a publisher or you have something big going on so but I applied anyway just to see why not there's no harm in doing so they might be like oh she's from Toronto so that's good so yeah, I applied for it anyway. If you are interested, if you are uh, interested in applying for TCAF, it's it's all the registrations up, so you can register for that. What else did I do? And um, yeah, but I mostly worked on Patreon today, so I hope the vlog wasn't too boring. I also wanted to mention that I was approached by somebody from Max Animation, Max the Month Animation Studio in Toronto, to do a talk this September. So I will be doing like a quick. I think it's like a two hour talk in the evening. I don't remember the details. I have it all in an email, but I wanted to mention that. So if anybody is from Toronto or if you would like to come to the talks, they have a series of talks and I'm gonna be, I think I'm gonna be one of the first ones and my focus would be will be Patreon and self-publishing. And I'll be talking about like 
what I do in Patreon, like vlogs and all that kind of stuff. Just kind of my perspective on it, plus self-publishing. So it's going to be really, really exciting. I still have to put together what I want to talk about. It's going to be on September the 17th. So it's pretty much, it's coming up. So I have to kind of think about what I want to talk about. There's going to be probably going to be a Q&A session and stuff like that. So thank you so much, Megan, for inviting me to that talk, uh, to do the talk. So yeah, I'm excited to do that. So if you are interested in coming, it's free for students from, I don't know if it's free for students overall, like generally, or only for Max the Mutt students, um, but it is also open to the public for a fee. I think it's like $5 to get in. So yeah, I will leave a link down below if you want to kind of look into that if you're interested in it. And then they have some other talks that I probably would want to go myself. So yeah, I just wanted to add that into this vlog and um, yeah, the weather has been pretty good so far. I've been able to work in my studio for longer than before just because it's it's less hot. The fan really helps, but uh, the weather is getting a lot better. I need to turn my lamp on. The sun has now set and I'm still editing the vlog. I'm trying to make it into a longer vlog. It's at about like 35 minutes right now. Um, I got distracted by that. I still need to draw doodles on the envelope, so I'm gonna start now and see where I get. I might just draw caterpillars for, for this one since the last drawings, the last few drawings I did were caterpillars. Let's try one. I think I'm using the wrong pen here. I don't know. Let me think about it. I need a different pen though. Oh, my pens are running out. multicolor pencil. Let's see where it gets us. Ooh, I like that. I might just use this. Here it is. Now I just gotta draw it a couple more times. Like a lot. I'm just writing please do not bend on each of the packages with my Posca marker, which is actually still working. I just had to do really vigorous shaking and kind of doing that bunch on paper. So it still works. It's great. Um, I'm letting everything dry and then I just got a doodle on the these envelopes. The, the $5 ones are all doodled onto. That's are done. I do think I'm going to end the vlog here. I have work tomorrow, Friday's tomorrow, and then I've got a bunch of errands to run before the party on Saturday. So yeah, I will end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry, it's not an hour long vlog. Maybe next time it will be. But I was really focused getting all these packages done and I'm happy that they will be sent tomorrow. So yeah, have a good night or a good morning wherever you are and have a really good weekend. I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. Thanks for watching.